What's up, Optimus? So I know we tried to bots that we said was a heavy bots, and then we tried to another bots that we said was a light bots that ended up having better hits, right? So just to bury the hatch on this whole issue, I pulled out the heaviest bots that I own. And you can see other ones over there. I've weighed every single one of these. This is the absolute heaviest bots I own. Does it have an ancient dragon? I don't know, but we're about to figure out. Either way, I'm happy. We're crafting a quarter hit starter bots, and then that's always a good time. Now let's do to it. All right, Optimus, like I said, we got the heaviest bots out of all the bots as I got in kit starter. So let's check it out. There's the bots topper right there. We're gonna open that first. <clears throat> Making sure not to cut it. All right, let's see what it is. Is it spirit token Kuzu, sleepy boy? Or potentially, oh, Sleepy Boy. We got a lot of those. All right. We're going to shuffle these pats well really quick. But damn. All right. Let's get ready to do this thing. First pack, Atihane. Now just remember, I've cracked at least a half a taste by now. I honestly haven't kept track because it's been a lot, but this is the heaviest bots out of everything that I've done, and I am interested to see what we pull. Toketsu Freeze for the rare. We got a Toyota Dormu, Zeru, Tatina, Fiero, Divine, Nature. We got a full art coming up. Speed Strike, Kotai Dormu, Adashi, and another Water Relic Shard full art. This is number four. Confirmed. This is number four we've pulled. This is absolutely insane. What a hit. Beautiful card, as always. I'm going to move that over there so y'all can see that. Oh yeah, that's a good looking card right there. So full art water relic, I'm not even upset because uh, water is like what I'm main in right now. So uh, if we just keep pulling water relic shards, this is perfect. We'll be able to blend out this deck and have a good old time. And I can play y'all at con when we go. All right, what do we got now? We got a demon gate, quitsand, nature, Senko, light in the load, Zera, relic shard, all seeing eye, rousing dragon, and forbidden alchemy. Well, at least we know the shuffle was effective. We didn't get two uh, hollows back to back. Yeah, so when I start, saw people start posting about like the weight of cards and the weight of paths, I already knew it was going down the Wizards of the Coast Pokemon route, so my whole goal here is to just kind of uh, diminish that idea that, hey, you can weigh a, a bots and be accurate with it. A pack, maybe. Seal protection? Sure. You know, if you're talking about 0.1 of a gram, if someone's going to actually re record that and go through the effort of that, but even then, it's there's still room for air, right? So it, just the idea that, hey, you can weigh a pack and it's going to be a heavy tit starter patch just isn't... It isn't realistic because there's a lot of room for air when you're talking about that small of an amount in weight. Mount Hane. Kamikuzu, Tokatsu, Aji, Gormu, Kage, Leap of Faith, Spirit Plane, Lights Out, Divine Altar. This is good. It seems like we'll have a lot of uh, hollows towards the end. I'm excited about that. <clears throat> Mokuhane, Dokushimo. Power of Mind, Token Gesture, Bat Scene, Shatter Shield, Sleeping Dragon, Trident Retribution, Solar Burst, and a Magentina non holo Alright, so, so far our only holo has been one full art, and we are on track to be hitting a lot of hollows here soon, because we haven't hit that many.
Arufakabu, Solar Burst, Zera, Shimo, Kabu, Moku, Seriza, Woodland Adders, Seraph's Protection, and a Spirit Token. Another non hollow pack. So, right, each box has 20 packs. We're averaging around seven per box. I, I personally haven't seen eight pulled, but I'm sure it's happened somewhere. Not everyone records their bots breaks. Dragon Mar. Spirit Plane, Fair Trade, Zeru, Soul Catcher, Storch Earth, Burn Book, Hot Coals, Tomb of the Damned, and a Genro Kuzu non holo. Wow, this is like the best shuffle ever. Adihani, Divine Offering, Rozier, Shattered Shield, Sleeping Dragon, Electric Touch, Leap of Faith, High Tide, Divine Offering, and a Seraph Zero, Non Hollow. I think we're going to finally pull a hollow because we're on a little bit of a drought right now. Crystal Citadel, Flash Step, Wounded Wing, Seeker Protein, Tatina, Furo, Divine Relic Shard, Flash Step, Quitsand, Awaken the Graves. Wow. So, so far the heaviest bots, but the lightest amount on rare, or foils if I should. Oricana, Seriza, Rousing Dragon, Spirit, Water, Electric, Token, Kuzu, Kotai, Hagashi, and a Toketsu. Wow, what a shuffle. I think I probably just took one of the seven pats and put it on top, and then the other sits are on the bottom. So this is crazy. Atihane, Awake in the Graves, Lighten the Load, Zera, Relic Shard, Fair Trade, Downpour, Trident Retribution, Solar Burst, and a Magna Athenium Hollow. Very, uh, I'd say this is probably the most likely Battle Zone foil you're likely to hit, but I don't know. I've, uh, I've only seen a couple bot sprites, but all I know is I've hit it a lot. Still sit, still beautiful. We got two, four, six, eight pats left, so good news, y'all. We got, uh, Five of these are about to be bangers, at least. Crystal Citadel, Demon Date, Traveler's Trap, Zeru, Spirit, Water, Electric, Spirit Plane, Lights Out. Oh, we got the Fire Relic Shard, Full Art. Beauty of a card. Still looking for that dark relic shard full art. That is a hard one to pull, let me tell you. Bajiri Shimo, Trident Retribution, Tatina, Tatsa Delixir, Lighten the Load, Anti Alchemy, Wash Ashore, Rousing Dragon, Mokuhito, Old Man's Greed. A staple in any deck. We have. Exactly six pats left. So now four of these should be hollows. Zero's Blade at Siler, Hadashi Tabu, Totetsu, Ati, Gormu, Kade, Leap of Faith, Channeling Souls, Z Sphero, Dragon Distribution. We got a zero patch, so there's almost guaranteed to be heat in here. It's just the name of the game.
Forbidden Alchemy, Seal of Protection, Token Gesture, Chuzu, Power of Mind, Vatsine, Shattered Shield, Relic Shard, Chainling Souls, Seraph Zeru, Hollow, beautiful. Look at that card. It looks phenomenal. Another Seraph patch. Time Reversal, Kotai Gormu, Tatina, Tatsu Dilitzer, Lighten the Load, Shatter Shield, Sleeping Dragon, Relic Shard, Zeus, and an Ancient Tree non hollow. So right now we have four foils, three pats. Uh, and ironically, all the pack arts. So what I'll say is if I was a betting man, I know I said that in my last video, all three of these pats are about to have. Great heat. So let's check it out. Tatina, Cereza, Shimo, Zara, Wash Ashore, Anti Alchemy, Ice, Woodland, Search Protection, and a Genro Tuzo, Tuzu, Foil. Ah, got him! Apologize for that. Nice hit. That's a great looking card. Toketsu, Moku, Kage, Leap of Faith, Tatina, Tatsu Delitzer, Light and the Load, Rousing Dragon, Motuhito, and a Crystal Citadel Foil. Another beauty right there. Two Battle Zone Foils, that's interesting I, I feel like this is the first boss i pulled right out two battle zone foils so that is beautiful let's see what we got here zero with the last pack magic dragon mar sub-zero token gesture sleeping dragon toketsu ati gormu zeese no way. No way. Zeus Furo. Madness to Tina. Full art. We got a full art. I had a feeling. I knew we cracked this bot's freeze and it's a heavy bot. Let me my let me remind y'all. This is interesting, right? Because the last bot I said was one of the lighter bots we ever pulled. We got a Madna Tatina full art from this bot. What a banger. Look at that card. That is phenomenal. I apologize for that uh curse we'll edit that because obviously turning her bros a family channel but look at that that is amazing the first i i want to say it's funny because the first taste i cracked sits bots is and we finally pulled a full art this is the first bots i pulled off the line from the other case and we got a full art and man tatina is just beautiful wow what an amazing card trading card fam alchemist a core community all y'all Crack your boxes, make the most of it, have fun with it. Who cares what the reset value is? This It's just an amazing card game and this is history in the making. Look at this beautiful card. It's it's absolutely stunning and mind blowing. Wow. Wow. All right, Alchemist and Trading Card Fam, you just saw a bots break of my heaviest hit card bots that I own. And what do we pull? A beautiful Madness Tatina. Now what I'll say is, the bots weight really doesn't matter because you know what? The last bots break I did was the lightest bots I owned, and what happened? Uh, we still had a full art. And there was a noticeable difference in the weight of the bots. So what I'll say is, if you own Kitstar bots and you're on the fence about opening them, you just have to ask yourself what's more important to you. Do you want to open them and see what awesome pulls you can get? Because you care about the TCG and you want to play it? Or do you want to make money? And I'm not judging you either way. It doesn't affect me at all. I'll sleep fine. Right? So, do what you will. Either way, I'm going to have fun crashing boxes. I can't wait to, you know, play with y'all on Tabletop Simulator and just have a great time. Until next time, I'm the trading her, bro. Peace.